Now, here's what we're going to play. So we're going to call just Team Red versus Team Blue. All right? Here's the game. This game is called Ball Tag. What's it called? Now, the reason I, uh, I get them to repeat what I'm saying is just so they can try to remember the game that we're about to play. So if I want to recall it in, a, in an upcoming week, I don't have to uh, go over explaining it all over again. All right, so in this game, U4 versus U5, the aim of the game is to tag the opposing team to get them out. You tag them like this, standing still with a ball and then tag them with the ball, all right? Now, the catch... You are not allowed to dribble the ball. Go. Oh, freeze. Travel. So if you can't dribble. You don't have it. Ah, so she figured it out. So freeze. Travel in basketball means what? Oh, so it's the other team's ball. Throw it to the red team. Ready, get set, go. Tagged. Now freeze. Once you're out and you get tagged, just come stand to the side. Now there's something I hate about this, right? Is when we get a girl out, she's standing to the side and doing nothing. Yeah, we'll come up with a solution in a sec. And freeze. So great. Red team, you figured it out. Uh, what's her name? What's your name again? Taylor, you started to do something to your player to try and get her out fast. Do you remember what you did? Ran at her. Ran at her, why? Do you know what that's called in basketball? Marking. Marking up, yeah? That was very clever. Can you replay and show everyone what you did? <laughs> so, so she, I knew the answer, but I wasn't going to tell her. That way, there's a difference in coaching. Did you teach it or did they learn it? Yeah, and it's so much more powerful if someone just learns it themselves. So that was very clever. You're back in. Now, here's the deal. We're going to shrink the space because I didn't give you a boundary. Now, your boundary is the three-point line and the baseline. Okay? Ready? Yep. If, if you get tagged, then you become an outsider. If you're an outsider, you're still a part of the game, but you can only tag from the outside. Got it? Yeah. All right. Ready, set, action. Oh, no! You're an outsider now. So now you can get past two, but only from outside the area. You can go wherever you want. Good. Great marking, Lexi. Now, what skills do you think they're learning in this game? Staying on their play, marking up, what else? Cutting, Cutting, moving, what else? Passing, pivoting, jump stops, and freeze, freeze. Now, what kind of drill uh, do you think, uh, what kind of skill is this game focusing on? What else? What else? What else? Sorry? Quickness, all correct, what else? Footwork. So you're all right. Yeah? So on every catch, uh, everyone copy me. On every catch, I want you to jump stop. Go, copy me. Good, jumps. Now, great. Pretend you have an invisible ball in your hands. If you do have the ball, what can you do with your feet to try and change your angle? Ah, now what else can you do with the ball if you're under pressure? Or something a pass to something a pass. What? No, no, no. That was like a finish my sentence kind of thing, right? What's that called? You're all very confident people. Fake a pass to make a pass. Catch. Fake a pass to make a pass. So if you're under pressure, use your feet and fake passes to try and pass to people. You two girls back in, blue ball. Jump stops, fake passes. Jump stops, fake passes. Get them out. Get them out. Stay inside the area. Good. Good. Well done. Oh, bad luck. Pivot. Pivot. Oh, what odd. Out of bounds. Kind of red ball. Give it to the red girls. Ready. 
Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice try. Good. They obviously had a very indoorsy day at school today. They still have plenty of energy, which I don't mind. Ten seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, out of bounds and freeze. Well done, girls. Great demonstration of ball tag. Uh, next one I'd like you to do. Can you please, uh, we're going to go same teams. Uh, here's the deal, basketball, please. I'm going to use my cones. This uh, little game is called scoreball. What's it called? Scoreball. All right, here's the catch. In scoreball, there are multiple ways to score. Uh, I need someone to do that exact same thing to the cones, but on the other side of the court. In scoreball, there are multiple ways to score. You're not allowed to dribble or run with the ball, and here's how you do score. If, uh, stand on the other side of the rim for me. If you get a rebound and you're on the same team, catch, that's one point. If you score a touchdown, touchdown is like this, if you stand in between the cones and catch in a jump stop, I'll give you five points. If you score a basket and get it in the ring, I'll give you 10 points. But here's the catch. You cannot go for the rim until you score a touchdown. Blue team, you're going that way. Red team, you're going this way. Go! Yeah, no. Wasn't red going that way? Why did you give her the ball? She's in a scoring zone. Five points. Now you can go for the basket. Quick. Good. Rebound. Oh. So that's 15 points. They got a fiver and a tenner. Yeah, but blue, I know. They got an advantage. Oh, touchdown. Quick. Try and score a basket. And freeze. Out of bounds. Blue ball. Throw it in. Good. Rebound. Nice. Play on. Oh, close. Not there quite yet. Oh, don't let her catch. Fiver. Keep going. Good. Well done. And freeze. Now, that was interesting, right? Because uh, you had the catch here. And then someone in your team, I'm pretty sure it was Annie, you were here, replay that situation, rewind. You're there, Annie had the ball, pass Annie the ball. Annie, why did you decide to pass to her? Because um, the defender came in front of me. Mm -hmm. Now you were previously here, and then you decided to move out. Why did you make that decision? Because um, it was like Oh, so what do you need to create? Conversion? Is that <laughs> rhymes with race? Explosion? Space. 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 Yes, we're trying to find space. And where is the best place to catch a basketball to have the most space? No, no, no. Listen to my question. No, listen to my question. Slow down. Where? Where? So it's a place. Is the best place? to get a catch to create the most space. Now? Say it louder, with confidence. Good girl. <laughs> what? No, I said with confidence, not with aggression. All right, so yes, you can get a catch outside the three point line to create the most space. Because if you stand all the way out here, that means you have more space in there. All right, blue ball, ready, set, go. Oh, you can't do that yet. Of course you can, it's basketball. And freeze! What rule is this? Do you know why you travel? Yeah, you started doing the black swan routine. All right. Uh, red ball, turnover. Ready, set, action. Good. Pivot. Up, oh, forgot the touchdown. Play on, no score. Got to score a touchdown before a basket. 10 seconds. Uh, missed. Where's the, oh no, score, fiver. Blue ball. Go. Five. 
Well, you already scored a touchdown, but that's five anyway. Keep going. Four, three, two, one, and freeze. Well done, girls. Good job. So, coaches, again, multiple ways to score. Rebound, touchdowns, and then baskets. So that means they're continuously trying to find ways to uh, get multiple points. And then secretly, we're working on passes. We're working on finding space, jump stops and pivots, all in the same drill.